Happy Wednesday. It's 8.36. Let me put my mic on. But y'all get on it. Y'all hear who home, right? I wanted to show you guys. Hold on. <clears throat> Can y'all hear me? I wanted to show you guys that um, we did go to Home Depot, a different Home Depot, and we got our stove needs to be cleaned. We got five of the four by 12 registers we needed. Of course, we needed six. So we're on the hunt for one more. Ronnie's going to try the um, Home Depot by where he's working today. I think that's in Silver Spring. Um, and then you hear baby girl over there while she's quiet. Uh, we just got a knock at the door and it was build.com's um, delivery service because our telescopic, I still have to put the last coat of um, poly on this. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but our um, <clears throat> telescopic downdraft, we did get the 36 inch wide one. This is the Sorrento downdraft from Zephar, Z-E-P-H-R. We ordered it from build.com, it's stainless steel. And this one supposedly has the blower internally made into it, so I don't have to buy a separate blower, which was a few hundred dollars, even though the ones without the blowers were a little cheaper. When you added the cost of the blower into it, it was just like, you might as well get the one with the blower in it. So I've already contacted our contractors to let them know that it was being delivered today. And they are going to reach out to the countertop company because they have to cut a hole for the downdraft to fit in here. So those are two things. Um, yeah, they have to cut a hole in here. Um, the third thing, this cabinet that I ordered, you guys, I was putting together this cabinet all yesterday. Look at baby girl. And I got almost finished, um, but then we had to go get baby girl. So here's where I am, okay? I built this all by myself. Ronnie did help me bring it in here, and he helped me. Um, after I put on the feet, he helped me flip the bottom part over because it's heavy. I read in the reviews that the, hinge, the doors are a pain in the ass, and they are. Those are fine. I'm trying to get these ones, but you guys, like, it is so annoying. You see this? So I may have to wait for Ronnie to get home because literally I'm about to kick this thing over. That's how pissed off I am at it. It's coming up much lighter on camera, but it is like a gray color. It's coming up really light on camera, but it's a, a gray color. Um, I still have to put the shelves in and also put the back on it. Ronnie accidentally ripped the tape that holds the back two pieces together. So I have to put some more tape on it from the garage. He has the same tape, but I have to do that. So it's gonna be easier for me to do that when I have a second set of hands. But these hinges, you guys, I'm so annoyed with the hinges. And then they put like, this is the back of it, so I really don't care, but they put one of those warning symbols on it. And it's like, why do you use the type of stickers that don't come off? I hate that. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But anyway, it's on the back. I can use some Goo Gone and get it off. Um, I do have to put the shelves in, but so far, so good. I really like it. Like I said, it's coming up much lighter on camera for you guys. This is a true, like, gray, but it has the wood tone in it. And I think it's going to look really nice. Let me stand back and give you guys a visual. Of course, the door's not on even so you don't have to say that in the comment section i'm gonna fix it um but it's gonna go right here um and i'm gonna put like some teardrop mirrors above it i think and i think that'll be really really pretty um i may change that outlet cover because it may interfere with the teardrop mirror since it's mirrored but we'll see um look at her you stay with mommy today say yes Say yes, <laughs> my baby love. Yeah, good morning. She just woke up, so I'm gonna change her and give her a bath. I mean, give her a bottle. Um, but this is what it looks like. I didn't mean to not show you guys yesterday. I need to bring the dogs in as well. Don't touch my cabinet. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then I looked at the sideboard again. It's like 70 or 72 inches for in here. It's from Joss and Maine. It's so beautiful, you guys. I really love it. It's a darker gray, so it's much darker than that. But I think it will work because I have the silvers, I have the blue, I have the light gray on the walls with the white um, five inch baseboards. And then of course I have a white kitchen 
we're still unpacking so that's why the boxes are there um so at first i was going to get white and i think white would be fine but if i want to put white dishes and display it i really think the darker gray would really really be nice and add character so i'm thinking about that it is oh my god it's 860 bucks and then once taxes added on, it's like 911. So it's just like, do I really want to pay that when this one over here I only paid 379 for? And then after tax, it was 402, which was a steal in my opinion, because it's just a steal. Like these sideboards are expensive, you guys. Very expensive. Um, my neighbors are having a deck built, and I see the people out here, so they must are going to start really soon um yeah they're talking to the neighbors now anyway i gotta fix this um but i just wanted to show you guys that this is how far i got hey y'all happy thursday oh, it's pollen got his card uh it's um 9 30 and i'm headed to i'm headed to physical therapy um for my heat therapy sessions. So this weekend is gonna be super, super crazy. Um, I'm gonna upload a vlog for you guys today. It's Thursday, but I'm gonna do it. Um, this weekend is gonna be super, super crazy. I didn't realize it's my little cousin's third birthday. She's born two weeks before my niece Mimi, or Mia. Um, so it's her birthday. She's having like a tea party themed birthday and I RSVP. So I ordered her her little pink, like baby grand piano from walmart two-day shipping it'll be here tomorrow um so that's on saturday of course i have to work my part-time saturday morning and sunday morning my hair looks a mess on wednesday uh wednesday first thing wednesday morning ronnie and i are flying out to miami so tuesday night we have to drop um baby girl off with his parents so i need to have her packed and ready so i did order her like a mini mouse duffel bag for all of her stuff i ordered that this morning it'll be here tomorrow on friday so that gives me plenty of time to put the stuff in the bag i'm doing her laundry now as we speak so that's good um but this weekend i have to do my laundry so that because i don't dry everything of mine so i have to give it enough time to dry i have to pack like by monday i have to wash my hair this weekend and find some type of african braided shop to put me six feet in and because that's what i'm rocking um when we go to costa rica in august i'm going to get knotless braids um but i don't want knotless braids this early because i don't want to get them back to back and put too much strain on my hair so i'm just going to get like some feet ins i'll wear that for a week or two and then that'll be it um, but I have to find who's going to put some vegans in my hair and I have to wash and blow dry my hair. And then um, I made my wax appointment for my Brazilian because it's been so long. TMI, but y'all, I'm so scared of that appointment. So that's going to be on Monday, I believe. And then Sunday, I need to um, get my nails done, get my feet done. Ronnie's coming to get his feet done because we always do that before we go away for a vacation um and then he probably needs to do some laundry like it's just so much that needs to happen and then on top of that sunday i put a baby shower meeting on my schedule for my sister's baby shower with the planning committee sunday evening so which is at my parents house so it's not like i think it's at my parents house it may be at mine um so that's not like too strenuous because it's at my mom's house but with everything that i have to do it's going to be like super super busy this weekend plus like i said i have to work so um yeah that's the weekend it's gonna be busy i already know but it is what it is um <clears throat> we're super excited for miami <clears throat> so it's me ronnie Brittany and chiron ebony and nick and then my brother um aj and his wife t and my sister-in-law so it's eight of us um at Brittany's recommendation, I made us a reservation for Thursday night. We're leaving on Wednesday, Cinco de Mayo. So we're hope hopefully going to go somewhere Mexican for dinner and drinks and stuff on um, Wednesday when we get there. We'll get there first thing in the morning and then hopefully just drop our luggage at the hotel until it's our rooms are ready and then you know just hit the strip and do whatever on Cinco de Mayo. But I try to make it a reservation for somewhere Mexican and you can't do it either they don't accept reservations or they're all booked or whatever so we're just going to try our luck and try to get somewhere for lunch and then just kind of stay and hang out and drink and eat you know through the night that's the plan for wednesday thursday at Brittany's recommendation i made us an, 
a reservation at um, Prime Prime Italian. I've never been. Ronnie's never been. Um, but Brittany and Chiron went when they were in Miami. So um, we were able to make that reservation for the eight of us on Thursday. And then we'll be back really late Friday night. Um, so I don't, you know, yeah. And then we'll pick up baby girl Saturday once we wake up Saturday morning. Hey y'all. So it's still Thursday. I just got back from my physical therapy and I wanted to show you guys a quick Dollar Tree haul. I went to Dollar Tree to get a few things. I need to wrap my um, little cousin's happy birthday gift for this weekend. And I got her two of those because I don't know how big the box is for her gift. It's coming tomorrow. And it's not a lot of paper on these rolls. But these are a dollar. Of course, I got her. She's turning three. I should have got Mimi one too, but... Um, I got all of my Mother's Day cards because if y'all don't know about Dollar Tree and the cards, they have mahogany cards and everything. So they're either 50 cents or a dollar. So I got all of the Mother's Day cards. I also got this um, two bows to put on her gift. Um, I re-upped on some freezer quart bags because we buy our meats from Costco and then we break them down. And sometimes the gallon bags are just too big. It's a waste. So I got um, some of the quart size ones and then I just re-upped on some sandwich bags because I put baby girls um baby food in those when I send it to Nana's house and then I got a survival a Miami survival kit okay so I got some Welch's two packs of these there's four little pouches in each one these look good they're the strawberry sour punch straws of course my favorite sour patch kit these are for Ronnie he loves Twix so I got him some Twix um, ooh, this is open. Oh, mm -mm. Somebody been opened up the uh, which comes some Mr. Good Bars. This bar is just horrible. Okay. Um, some sour worms, and of course, the all pink Starburst. And then, as I was checking out, I saw this. I said, It's meant to be. Look at these shot glasses. I should have got two packs of these because um, it's 24 in here and it's eight of us going. So I mean, it'll be okay. I got a pack of those. So I'm going to go put that in my suitcase because I think I can fly with this stuff as long as it's in my suitcase and not, like, in my purse. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. It's Friday. I'm so happy. Anyway, you guys, I look a mess. My hair, I didn't tie it down last night. Um, I have to go to physical therapy this morning. Um, I just logged on for work. Got baby girl dressed, did her hair, fed her a bottle, packed up her bag, got her out the door. Her and daddy literally just walked out the door. Um, but I wanted to show you the packages that we have been getting for the last couple of days and also show you the chandelier for the family room um, makeover. Unfortunately, we had a little mishap. So I, I scheduled a, an electrician to come put it in today but I had to cancel at 8 p.m. last night because when I took the chandelier out the box to put it together all of the down rods were missing and because I'm putting it in a two-story room it's not like I could have him install it and then when the company ships me the down rods I could have Ronnie just take it down and put them up this is a two-story family room 18 feet high so the electrician is gonna have to put up scaffolding in order to put it up so I had to cancel or postpone it, it is a delay not a denial but you know, I was really upset last night that I had to do that. And that's kind of unprofessional to have him coordinate the scaffolding and all that stuff. Because I'm pretty sure it's not his. I don't know. Um, and then for me to have to text him at 8 p.m. last night and be like, oh, I got to wait on the down rods. We tore the box open. There's There was no down rods in it. So anyway, let me show you that. I don't know that it's exactly the way that it's going to be. Um, but I had to sit it down somewhere. So. You guys, can I just say that I really love this setup? This is some of the, this is the screws for the back. We still need to put the back on. And then that's stuff for the chandelier. But it just looks, it's, the room is, 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 is getting there, okay? So this is the chandelier that I chose. It's pretty big, but obviously the room needs a statement piece. I still have to bend and twist um, some of the poles in different directions, but I needed it to stand up. So that's what um, it looks like. Again, it's sponsored content, so I'll be putting out a video on that as soon as I can get those down rods. Like, I don't understand how the down rods were missing. I'm, I'm confused about that. But anyway, um, 
that was one of the packages that we got. Another package is, I told you guys, my sister, Alexa, turn on the kitchen pendant lights. Um, I told you guys, my sister, sorry, it was a little dark in here, um, is having a baby, and she's having a baby shower. So um, she wants like, it's not like woodland theme, but kind of like the naked cakes and the, um, the tree trunk tra um, wood disc and stuff like that. So Brittany let me know that Amazon had these on 50% off sale the other day. And you can use them as a banner. I think that's what they're intended for because it does come with the string. But you can also use them as place cards or whatever because these are really small. They were on, original price was $15 and they were like $7.50. And it comes with like 20 some of them or so. So you can use them with as banners to like label different tables, desserts, you know, whatever, favors, or you can, um, like Brittany said, use them as place card holders. They already come with a little hole for the string if you want to use them for that. But I did get one just to show um, my mom and my sisters, and then I order more if they like them. So far, they like them because I, I showed it to them on um, the phone. But we are having a baby shower meeting on Sunday, so yeah. The other thing I wanted to show you is I went to Home Depot last night because, because y'all, I thought that my chandelier was getting put up today, but because I don't have the down rods, that's not happening. But anyway, um, I needed bulbs because it doesn't come with bulbs. And the ones that it said it needed, Home Depot didn't have. So it needed the skinny long ball, um, bulbs for it to look like the industrial type of chandelier that it is, but they didn't have that. So I ordered, I mean, I, mean, I bought these and these were expensive, okay? Um, I think they were like $12 a box and they only came with two. But it said it needed 60 watt and these are 75 watt replacement, but because they're LED, I figured it was okay because they use less you know, energy and stuff. So I got these and I was like, mm, this might be okay. And then when I got home or as I was getting home, I said, let me check Amazon and see if there's something available that I need, the bulbs that I need for next day. Because like I said, I needed the skinny long type of bulbs. They're called the uh, T10 bulbs and with the E26 base, which is the regular base. So of course they had some on Amazon as soon as I left Home Depot for next day or overnight um, delivery, which is free. So I ordered three boxes of these because I needed eight and um, they come three in a box. So I had to order three boxes. So now I have one um, spare replacement. Um, and they came overnight. They were on my doorstep this, doorstep this morning, Ronnie said, when he put out the trash. Let me show you what they look like so that you can see, because this is what I was supposed to get. And they were about the same price. These were, I think $14.99 each and I bought three boxes and I paid about $47 for the ones at Home Depot and these might have been $45, $46. So this is what they look like. Let me go see if it, if it looks right when I screw it in. But it's the E26 ball, um, base, which is the regular base. Um, but this is the T10 bulb. So let me screw it in and then I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, this is better. And then it's the clear bulb. You see this? You see that? You see that? So that's how it's going to look. I'm not going to put them in right now just because I don't want it to get broken. And I'm not sure when the company is going to send me the down rods or when I'll get, get it installed. So I don't want just glass sitting out. So I'm going to pack that up. Um, what else? Did I get another package? Ronnie's shoes did come. The ones that I showed you guys, I think a while ago, he got us. The Island Iversons. We may wear them this weekend to um, we have a birthday party to go to and then like a little cookout shindig. So we, all three of us may wear them this weekend. I am about to go outside. So I signed in for work. I've been doing a little bit of work this morning before they left. And then um, I'm about to go outside and put that last coat on that railing because it's been like a week and I haven't done it. Um, I don't want to put too much on myself. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm finishing her last load of laundry. She had so much this time that I had to break it in two loads, which is fine. So the last load is in the dryer and then I can start on mine. But you guys, 
15 minutes before she woke up this morning, I got up, tried on all my swimsuits. All of them is brand new. Most of them are from Jamaica. Yeah, so her last load of laundry is in the, is in the machine now. And then this is what I just washed. A lot of it is the clothes that are too small now, six to nine months. So I'll be giving those to my sister. I've already started folding them up, but I have to go through this bag. And um, these are all going to my sister as well. Um, and then that last load in the dryer, I have to go through that. And then take everything out of her drawers and move the larger sizes up. Because she is in 9 to 12 and 12 months now, okay? <laughs> She'll be 9 months next month. I mean, next week, which is next month. But anyway, because today is April 30th. Um, so 15 minutes before she woke up, y'all, your girl got up tried on all my swimsuits they were all new like i said some of them i bought for jamaica two years ago and never wore i was a little bit smaller then so they're a little bit tighter but they look fine and then i brought a couple whew, a couple of months ago um and then i bought one from walmart one two piece because i'm not 100 percent confident in my two pieces yet um just because i'm still working on my stomach area um she looks good honey but you know i still got some work so hopefully by costa rica in august I'll be good to go. But I am packing one two-piece that I got from Walmart, and it was really, really nice and not that expensive either. So it's like a neon color swim um, two-piece. So I packed that, and then I packed um, one, two, four other one-pieces, just in case. We're just going for four days, three nights, but no. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three days, two nights. Um, but I like to have options. So I put all that stuff um, in a pile. I put my swimsuit cover-ups in a pile. You guys know that um, I had went to Marshall's a while ago and brought like a lot of summer pieces. So I went through those and put um, a couple few outfits in there. I ordered um, a tie-dye biker short and top outfit from Amazon that went in there. Um, a couple of dresses, I'm not sure. We do have a dinner reservation on Thursday night. So I put a couple of dresses in there and then some like long like palazzo pants type thing um and then i'll put a pair of heels in there just in case we'll see it's supposed to be a nice restaurant prime italian so um we may dress up or if we dress casual we'll, with heels i'll have you know options for that of course we're leaving and getting there on cinco de mayo in the morning so we want to you know eat mexican and have like drinks and stuff like that on wednesday we just have to find a spot for that um and then for lunch we may go to sundays on wednesday we come back friday night and we get back really really late friday night so we still have friday to do some stuff as well and then also hang out at the beach the pool at the hotel and everything like that so we're excited about that um what else i told you guys that we did order all of the blinds for the sunroom in these two lower windows in the family room um they are being delivered the day we are leaving and since we're leaving so early in the morning um ronnie's gonna get his dad to come over and just pull him in the garage for me um on monday the um countertop contractor is coming to install our downdraft um so that's exciting um it's not an extra charge or anything it's just that the downdraft dra downdraft came later so they're coming back to install that um which will be good and then the kitchen will really really be complete i put up the um kitchen is complete vlog today to show you guys that it's completed um but that is not like the reveal video that you know i'm gonna do probably a decorate with me slash kitchen reveal video pretty soon when we get back from miami i still need some things to decorate it but for the most part i don't want a cluttered kitchen so for the most part i have a lot of the stuff the wine bar i think is good um i do still need to get the glass inserts put on the door the three doors that i want them on but that's not a necessity for me to film the video because the kitchen is complete without the glass doors they just have the regular you know white doors so um that's good um what else once i get the chandelier in here i am going to order the other three um curtains and then he can put those up and then i can put my wall disc up there on top of the tv which would be nice and then i only have to worry about this wall up here which i'm 80 percent sure what i want to do but you know 20 percent is just like uh, can i come up with something better if you guys hear a vacuum that is our g-bot what we call our g-bot it's our um automatic you know vacuum cleaner like the irobot um we still need to get one more 
floor register and then he needs to put those other five in so he'll probably do that this weekend it's no rush at all um and then yeah so let me go put the last coat on that rail not this railing but the railing that goes on the other side and then when we get back from miami we can start on this i need to place an order for some more of these iron ballisters and then also we need to buy the tile for the family i mean for the powder room which we're supposed to do this weekend so we'll see um other than that that's about it y'all then i need to go to target today at some point to get her some more baby food because I'm supposed to be making her baby food but I have so much to do between now and Tuesday that I don't want to put that on me Ronnie has really been on me about getting back into the habit of making her baby food because you guys know it's so much stuff on the market right now and in the news about you know the baby food companies and them putting harmful stuff in the food so I try to get the organic I try to get you know the most basic ingredients but you can never be too sure I understand that I've gotten your messages about it but i am only one person and so at least until we get back i'm just going to buy her some um, baby food to send to ronnie's mom's house so that you know she doesn't have to worry about it going bad and you know when you make fresh baby food you have to be really careful with after you thaw it out and how long it's been out and all that you know it's, it's a whole process or whatever which i'm fine with but i'm her mom you know i don't want to put that on somebody else when they're doing us a favor and watching her so um, I'm going to go to Target and re-up on some baby food for her for um, next week. We're going to keep her home Monday and Tuesday um, to give his mom a break. And then we'll be dropping her off Tuesday night right before bed. Like probably at like 8 or 9 o'clock we're going to drop her off on Tuesday. And then, um, yeah, we leave Wednesday early, early um, Wednesday morning. So... That'll be fun. Can't wait to get there. Me and my friends are all excited. Okay, y'all. So this is what I have packed so far. I wanted to show you guys. I have my swimsuit cover-ups, my swimsuit. That's um just some palazzo pants and um two options for shirts for those. These are three dresses and a two-piece um outfit that can be dressed up or dressed down. I actually wore that in Jamaica, but this is for dinner on Thursday night. And then a bunch of biker short outfits, a regular short outfits. You know tops and bottoms um i did i am gonna pack my vans i still need to put like underclothes sandals sunglasses jewelry um stuff to sleep in that's a lounge wear so i can sleep in that or just lounge in it um in the hotel room um and then my toiletries <clears throat> and then pretty much i'll be done like i said i have to go to target today so i need to check on the status of like our sunblock and you know that type of stuff but for the most part I think we're good to go. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. I see Ronnie started putting stuff in the bag. So far, he has some uh, T-shirts or wife beaters in there. I think I showed you guys. The, that's my that's our uh, survival pack with our candy and stuff in it. But I think I showed you guys this or these shoes that I, or, I bought from Marshalls a while ago. Like, randomly when I was in Marshalls, I bought these. They looked so comfortable, and I tried them on, and I liked them. Um, they were $17. But they're really cute. So I may take these with me. I'm not really sure. But for right now, the box is over here. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, for the most part, unpacked. I just got to do my laundry so I can get like underclothes and stuff like that. But for the most part, unpacked. We're going to share that bag. That's Ronnie's suitcase. Um, and yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey. Y'all know I just got back from Target. Okay, I had to get y'all. I just recorded two bags worth of stuff, and I didn't realize that when I dropped you guys, it didn't record. So now I have to go back over everything again, and then I still have to do it for Instagram. So anyway, let me go over what I went into Target for. Um, I went in there to get some baby food because I'm not going to put that on myself. So um, I got her um, pear cinnamon with oatmeal cereal. This is new. She hasn't had this. So I got her a two pack of that. I got her some apricot mixed fruit. She loves that. Also got her some banana apple pears. Um, I got her some apple strawberry banana. Uh oh, this one came out. Some a chicken noodle dinner, which has vegetables in it. Two of those. Um, I got her this four pack of basically the meat. So it has chicken with gravy, beef with gravy, turkey with gravy, and ham with gravy. 
gravy. She's already had chicken, beef, and turkey, but she's never had ham. So I'm gonna just send this whole pack to Nana's house for when we're gone. I also got her a turkey and rice with vegetables dinner and a mac and cheese with vegetables dinner. She likes both of those. I got her some vegetables, just carrot, sweet potato, and peas. And then I also got her chicken and rice. So, um, and then I got her apple banana with oatmeal cereal for the morning. Um, I did get her two patch, packs of this Gerber organic banana, blueberry, and blackberry oatmeal. She loves this. So I'm going to send this um, as well. And then I got her this new, um, well, new to her, the uh, yogurt blends in the peach flavor because it says for crawlers, eight months, and she's almost nine months. She's never had it, but we're going to try it just for a snack. I understand. I know all the stuff that's happening with the baby food market and everything, so you can save your comments. But I'm only one person, and I need to get her things that she can eat while we're gone and i'm not gonna put making her like baby food from home on her nana because she's already helping us out by watching her so again save your comments i don't want to hear them um so that's everything we got as far as the food um so that should last that's like 30 some dollars for the food um and let's go on with the toiletries so i was in the target dollar spot and they had these um, laundry bags. It says mask to wear, so you can wear, you can wash your mask. But I used, I, I needed these for like swimsuits and like bras with underwires. They always like get ripped up and everything in the um, laundry. And then also like my hosiery, my tights and stuff like that. They get stretched out. They get holes and everything because they're getting wrapped around all my clothes. So I got these. It's two bags for three dollars from the Target dollar spot. And then Ronnie said we needed more toothpaste, so I got some toothpaste. He needed his lotion, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lotion. Um, as far as the rest of the stuff for travel, I got her this to take it, put in her bag for Nana. When Nana gives her a bath, I didn't want to pack like the big bulky stuff. Um, so I just put some of this in there. I got me um, some Neutrogena uh, makeup remover, just in case I do my makeup for dinner one night when we're gone. Um, I got a thing of Q-tips because Ronnie always needs Q-tips whenever we travel. He also always has lint on his clothes that he wants me to get off. So I put a travel lint roller, um, a travel toothpaste because we don't need the big um, tube of toothpaste and then some feminine spray for me. Um, so that was all the toiletries in addition to the toiletries we already have. The one thing that I have to check on is the sunblock. I think I have some upstairs, so I didn't want to buy it because that's not cheap if I already had a couple bottles, but I think I do. I just need to find it. Moving on, I told you guys the clearance section for both baby and um, adults were popping. So I went in there. Look at this cute hoodie, this Cat and Jack for baby girl. She's in a 9 to 12 months. Some think she could fit 12 months, but 12 months is a little big on her. But it's okay because it's a hoodie. Look at this cute hoodie from Cat and Jack. It has butterflies. I mean, I said butterflies. Rainbows all over it. And you guys, this was originally $10, which is a decent price. Y'all, it was on clearance for $3, 70% off. So I got this. And I did check the weather. This week was really hot in the DMV area, like high 80s. Yesterday was like blazing. But um, next week is going back down in the 60s. So she can definitely, you know, wear a hoodie and stuff like that. So that's good. And then when she's with her Nana, her Nana has to go pick up um, one of her cousins from daycare um, during the week when she's going to be watching her overnight so she has to put her in the car and take her with her so she can throw on a hoodie and stuff like that and she'll be okay so i may pack that and then these were the cutest things i had to get them so this one was mini mouse and the disney stuff was on clearance this is 12 months again but this looks kind of small so i feel like she could wear this um this was originally ten dollars three dollars again so i got that for her and then this one i really wasn't going to get because i was mad it wasn't 70 percent off um it was only 50 percent off um, but it was 12 months, and I thought it was so cute. And it's probably going to match one of um, the pairs of Air Max that we just bought her. So I went ahead and got it. It was $5. It was marked only um, for 30% off at $7. But when I scanned it, it came up $5. So I went ahead and got it. But I think it should have been $3 because it's clearly part of the same collection. So those are the three items I got, baby girl. I can't go in the store without, you know, checking on her. And then Mommy got some things as well. So let me show you what I got. So this was not on clearance, but they just so happen to have extra large. I need to go try these on. I probably should have gotten a large, but I just wanted, they only had this left, this one pair of pants left, and I kind of wanted them to fit like loungy and big. So I was thinking about wearing this for the, uh, to the airport next week. Um, so it's this uh, new Colsey collection. These were $20. I got them in an extra large, but look at the bottom. The leg is tie-dye, and then the top is a hoodie. So this, I got this in extra large too because I kind of want it to fit big and cover my stomach and stuff. This is um, a 
$20 as well. So it's a separate, but they go together. So I got this. I'm thinking about wearing this to the airport. And then look at these guys. These are so cute. So I saw this. Now this is an extra small, but it is a sweater dress. And it, you know, sweater dresses are stretchy. So I probably definitely probably can fit it now, but it'll probably look better as I lose more weight. But anyway, this was $40 and this one was on sale for 20. But the reason it caught my eye is because look at the buttons going up the neck. Like, can you imagine if I had braids and I did an up bun or even if I didn't have braids and I just slicked my hair up so that you can see this, that's so pretty. And then it's like ruched on the shoulders and it's all the way down. Like it's really, really long. And then there's a slit, so pretty. So I got this because it was 50% off. And then I looked up and I was like, man, I wish it came in a bigger size, you know, blah, blah, blah. I looked up, they had this size, which is a large, which I'm pretty sure I can fit in my size. Um, and it's olive, so pretty. Look at the back again. And this one was only $11.99. So I was like, why is the black one not marked down? But I scanned it and it just wasn't. So I didn't press it. I just went ahead and bought it. But this was $12, y'all. $12. So I need to go try on all this stuff. Like, ugh, so cute. But anyway, um, that is my Target haul. That's all I got from Target. Um, and this was enough. Please, please believe me, this was enough. So I'm eager to see how this is going to fit because like I said, I think I'm going to wear this to the airport. But yeah, that's all I got guys. I gotta find me something to eat. I'm starving and then I gotta do some work. So I will talk to you guys a little later. See ya.